What's happening, fam? <clears throat> LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link that also to ask me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. This video is entitled Is He Your Friend or Your Resource? I was listening to Zoe uh, What Show, The Voice of Reason, and he said something um, very intriguing. He was like, you know, when you're dating, a, if, when a woman's dating a man, how can you love a person that you're viewing as a resource? How can you ever be their friend? So how can you ever really care about somebody that you just that you view as a tool, as um, a means to an end, a means to get ahead? And I was like, man, it just made me want to talk about this. You know, a long time ago, uh, I did a video talking about, you know, you need to be somebody's friend. You know before anything and one of the things that let you you know because you'll be there for your friend if you are real friends but if you if you but if you're out to use a person you're not really gonna be there for them you're gonna be there for what they can provide to you you know so basically you're under the bracket of a fair weather friend masquerading as somebody who loves you basically you know just somebody who comes and goes right and people try to do these little uh, mantras, you know, if people come in your life for seasons. Well, if everybody comes into your life for a season, but you always getting something from them and they get nothing from you, sounds like you're a year, you, you, you're a year round leech finding new seasonal people to leech off of. Doesn't, it, that, that's your life. That's not your season. But what winds up happening is, you know, the ladies were talking about it like, you know, it is does using men count the same way that um, as using women? Because you know normally um, men, well, women will be looked at as victims in a relationship. He did something, but how can you actually be in a relationship with a person who doesn't necessarily view you as their counterpart? They view you as a resource. And, you know, when people was making videos about KG getting divorced or whatever and, and his wife getting 100 G's a, a month, I mean, this is what happens. If you think, if you view her for her beauty and you use her beauty as a resource and she use your, your, your money as a resource, you know, this is a stereotypical situation, like, you know, that people are going through, right? And you wind up, not necessarily caring about another person in general. There is no relationship. You know, you can't you can't claim infidelity and somebody being not faithful to you when you weren't with them in the first place. You were into what resource you can get from them. It was never about them. You know, you claim to be committed to a person, but you committed to their stuff because if they lose their stuff, you out. Now, you, you have friends, and when your friends fall on hard times, that don't mean you don't leave your friends. When your friends do big things, you celebrate with your friends. You know, um, I remember talking about marriage vows, for better or worse, through sickness and, and health, rich or poor, better or worse, sickness and health, to death do you part. Well, that, in, in, in some ways, is more of a um, synopsis on friendship. Because for rich or poor, they're still your friend. For better or worse, they're still your friend. Through sickness and health, they're still your friend. But see, when you say you, you, you're looking for a significant other, you know, it's, it's for better. If they go through something, you don't like them no more. If, if worse comes, you're not cool with them no more. If you're there for richer. If poor comes... You're not there with them no more, right? You know, you there for health, but when sickness comes, you're not there for them anymore. And this is very, very telling because you can't ask for something that you can't give. You know, and if you actually can't give of yourself, and if everything is a transaction, whether somebody knows it, whether it's knowing or unknowing, the there is no real that's that's not a relationship that's a um that's a barter system you know if i do this for you you're gonna do this for me right 
Not talk about reciprocity, but friends have reciprocity. Friends always, you know, and friends give people, give other friends passes. I know you ain't got it like that. Don't sweat it. You know, I know this is what you, this is what you can do, and I and I appreciate you. You know, friends can can care about friends regardless. Same thing, you know, siblings do the same thing. You know, uh, your family, your blood, blood sticking in the water, yada yada yada, etc. 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 But which what, what I see is, you know, when a person is down for you, you don't, you know, they. You 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 have celebrated that they did a bunch for you. You know, and then one of the ladies was talking, and th this is sometimes when people overextend themselves. And I'm I'm just using this as an example, like I don't know the situation for real. But one young lady was talking about when she was younger, she got her boyfriend on his feet by helping him fill out college applications, and he he wasn't you know you know like as if his family didn't want him to go to college. As if she showed up as a girlfriend in high school and all of a sudden her helping him with college with college applications got him on the right path in life that was that that he did not want for himself and his family did not want for him. She just showed up and bam, I'm changing your life. And it's like, you know, that doesn't that don't really pass the smell test. You know, it really doesn't. Um, but the reason I say that is because this grandiose thing of sometimes when people think they, you know, I did this for you. Or, you know what I'm saying? I gave you uh, three sticks of gum when your breath was stinking. And, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I made you a better person. Eh, really? Really? That's what we're doing? You know, this, this idea that uh, if I do this little bit for you, because this is where it goes. When you use when people are resourced, when you do this little bit for them, you pump it up like you did a lot for them. And why? Because ultimately you feel like they're beneath you and they owe you for your presence. That's what it's about. Right? But if 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 you cool with them, that's not that ain't even in the picture. You know what I'm saying? But when when you treat people like they're beneath you and you owe them, so everything that they do ain't never good enough, but but the little things you do is over the moon, you 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 crazy, like you just crazy, you know. Um, and the reason, you know, it, it was an interesting show because he talked about the fellas on the opposite in in, in mansions, which I gotta, I'm gonna listen to that tomorrow because I got some things to do. Um, and it, to me, this is a problematic thing, very very uh, problematic, but very normal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because everybody wants, you know, everybody says they want love, but really the practice is everybody wants somebody to, 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 to do for them what they either not doing for themselves or their family's not doing for them because they feel like the world owes them something. And until the world repays them, they're not going to do shit for nobody. That's, that's what it really is, you know. Now, what happens when these people leave? Because nobody likes to be used. Nobody likes to be played with. You know, nobody likes to be somebody's resource for you want to drain them. And one of the young ladies said something that I, I did. She was like, you know, um, you know, well, Zoe was like, women are comfort-based creatures. Women like comfort, which, you know, that's true. And she was like, you know, sometimes we do things out of survival, and it may not be right. That's true. Uh, but there comes a point where, you know, are you doing things out of survival or are you just leeching and saying it's survival? See, that's two different things, you know, um, because when you're surviving, you're, you have to put some type of effort in towards your survival. But if you're looking for somebody to have enough for you to survive off of and you just drain them, that's leeching. That's not surviving. You know, that's, that's not surviving. That's just that's straight up leeches. That's what that's what leeches do. They but the difference is in our society, you use somebody, you get fat and full off of them, and then you, you know, then that separates, and then you go out into society talking about you did all this shit for yourself and you did it all on your own, and acting like you 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 know you you wasn't leeching. Like that's like and it's easy to tell a difference because 
like like you know me and my homeboys used to talk about this when you when you halfway about it you know when you halfway doing shit when you get around people who are really surviving they don't have they're gonna assume you know how to survive they don't they're not gonna think they gotta teach you you can't just you know snooze all over and just leech leech off of them a little little bit T- I didn't know you did it like that and I didn't know you did it like it's bullshit. If everybody around, if you said you were surviving, everybody else around you surviving, what the hell you need help for? Cause they can't, cause they can't call on you. See, you you could you could recognize that when when people, you know, when people want to call on you to help them, but they don't never pick up if you call on them. It's just something, just something wrong with the line. Just something, you know. Better call Jesus. He on the main line. Tell him what you want, cause they ain't gonna answer. You know, but. This is what I thought about, you know, because it was a great show. Like, go check it out. Uh, Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.